Hi everyone, welcome back to Engineers Tech Hub channel. So in this session, we will discuss what is test methodology. So these are three types of test methodology. We have a black box testing, gray box testing, and white box testing. So what is the black box testing, right? It is a, a method of testing in which one will test only functional testing part without having any coding knowledge. And generally, these method of testing is done by test engineer. Okay, so you are a test engineer and we are a test engineer. We are not going to touch code base. Okay, we are only going to check or test the functionality. Got it right? So that is called black box testing. Now we having the gray box testing. Okay, so what is gray box testing? So in this method of testing, one will test only a structural part. Generally, this method of testing is done by developer. You can say white box testing or you can say uh, glass box, sorry, glass box testing. I will tell you the gray box later, okay? Okay, so white box testing means the developers are involved, means they do some unit testing. We will discuss also what is the unit testing. So developer is not going to test the each functionality and everything. Then what is your jobs, right? So developers like they have, they just I can give you the example. They have developed one logic. They only check high level of that logics code base is working fine or not, right? It should not having the like higher or compile time, you know, error and all, right? So that is what the developers are going to check. If they are executing the code, getting the compile time or runtime error only, then it is a high level of the application will not work at all, right? So developer is going to touch the code base and they are they fix those issue. Okay, that is called your white box or glass box testing. So that's why here developers are involved. Now, what is gray box gray box testing? Okay. So some of the profile we having that you having the very good knowledge, like you are a tester also, and you are also developer as well, right? So both job you guys are doing. So that is called your gray box testing. In this method of testing, one will test the functional part as well as structural part, right? Generally, this method of testing is done by, uh, basically he's, he's a test engineer who is having the additional knowledge in the coding side. Like I can give you the example, you are a tester, you have learned the development and you have switched in the development profile, but you have already have a knowledge of testing. So you are doing the both work, right? That is called gray walk testing, okay? So what is the modules or combination of related features to level of testing? So we having the unit level testing, we having the module level testing, integration level testing, system level testing, and user acceptance level testing, okay? So these are the level of testing we do. So here we will discuss what is unit level testing and what is unit testing, right? Unit level testing means a, a smallest part of the program is called as a unit. Actually, if you know, if you are a test engineer or if you have a knowledge of automation, what we do, we have a test ng framework, right? Inside this in one class, we are going to test the functionality of the application, right? So our our code is testing the UI part is working fine or not, right? Understood, right? But developer code, they will write, they will do unit testing. They will write a small piece of the code. It will check its functionality is working properly or not. They are going to check the code base. They're not going to check the functionality of the application, but we are not going to touch the code base. We are checking the UI part or functionality is working or not. That is called unit testing. So that is the what we have mentioned here. In this unit level testing, one will test one unit or multiple unit. Okay, so they will make it, it depend upon, you know, they are going to make as per his, uh, you know, requirement and all. So here the developer will involve and the white box methodology will be implemented. So what we have discussed, what is the white box, right? So the objective of unit testing is isolate a section of the code and verify the correctness, right? One second. 
okay so in procedural programming unit may be an individual function or procedure what do you meaning of this if they having the any high level of defect or some compile time error or some runtime error so this is the high level of the defect they are able to find over there right so what happened what happened when the code base will deploy in the qa you know it's having the very less possibility to get high level of the defect right so in the earlier stage while in development stage they are finding the critical uh, you know uh, i can say the defect and all okay okay so the same thing the same question i have written why we do unit testing and why it is important so sometimes developer attempt to save the time by doing the unit testing if we will not do the unit uh, you know, unit leads to higher defect fixing cost during the system testing, integration testing, VITA testing after the application will be completed, right? So I have, I discussed the same thing, right? So if the unit testing is not done by the developer properly, then we having the more possibility to get the high high defect then what will happen again the it will go for the development, you know, development phase, developer will fix here the time consuming is the right right the cost will increase right so we have to uh, it will also impact much on you know uh, for our release as well right because developer is going to take again the time to fix the all oh, those issue and all right so you know this will also save and money and all right if developer is finding the default in the earlier stage or i can say in the unit testing okay so proper unit testing done during the development stage and say both time and money in the end okay so hope you guys understand these are the tools of the unit testing so we have a j unit n unit m mock it e m m a and php unit so these are the tools you know we having the many tools for the unit testing so these are the most important tools and the developers are choosing to do the unit testing okay so that's all in this video guys if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification. If you missed the previous session, you can just watch. You know, I have started uh, manual testing from very scratch with real time example, right? So like we already worked in a industry, so we know the process, how the testing will work, right? So I'm trying to give you the real time. I'm just relating with our real time experience in our session okay so please subscribe my channel and press bell icon thank you see you in the next video bye bye